right, good morning my friends, and welcome back to the winter. So, um, I need to unthaw my beer here because it's frozen, and I got a lot of flack for saying unthaw in the last episode, but, you know, it's it's a real word, I don't know... Unthaw. I, I guess you guys, maybe you're not from like a wintry area, so you don't say stuff like that very often, but... Yeah, it's a thing, I know it's... it's now that I think about it, I never even thought about it before, but it is a double negative. So it is kind of a weird word, but uh, nonetheless, I don't think I'll be able to train myself not to say it at this point. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying to thaw my beer out, and um, I think that'll probably help today. I'm not sure if I need it right now, because there's like, um, oh my goodness, there's a wolf here. Yeah, I probably might really need it. Let's maybe just work on this guy first with the arrows. Okay, beer should be thawed at this point. I think I can probably just jump down here and punch these guys to death. Oh my god, he got a hit on me already. Come here. There you go. Yeah, beer is good for drinking, especially first thing in the morning. Okay, we've still got a couple of guys around here, and then Spider-Man is out here somewhere, I think. Take that! Oh no! Ah! I can't reach him! Oh, of course. Okay, well, it's, uh, for once, it's well, pretty quiet around here. Okay, so what do we- what do we got around here, anyway? Do we really- should we- we should probably, like, try to fortify this at least to some degree so that it doesn't, like, completely fill up with zombies. Uh, the alternative is to leave it open and create some sort of a fighting window or position up here, but that would require, well, some, uh, rearranging of blocks, which would be quite a process, especially with the, uh, the hammer here. Oh, there we go, we got a skill point. By the way, last night I spent skill, a skill point, I think, on Fortitude 5, and what I wanted to do probably is just do Well Insulated 2. Let's see if that affects my cold meter over here. That wasn't quite enough. We still need to find some more clothing then, I think. And before the meat uh, freezes, I should probably see if I can get it cooked into, like, oh geez, I don't know. It's really, I don't think you can really get around it. Maybe I get it cooked now, and then uh, I, I don't have to thaw as many things out, because thawing the meat out is is quite a process. Oh geez, and, and you know what also is a, quite a process is, um, Getting boiled water, because all my murky water is frozen, too. Hey, what? There's always some kind of a, like, nasty lightning and thunderstorm going on here. It's like Blood Moon Horde sounds pretty much all the time. And the Blood Moon was out last night. I couldn't quite figure all that out. I think it's just kind of a an aesthetic for the mod. Okay, we're ready to go on the boiled water and grab up that boiled meat, and then we're heading out. The rest of it, we'll just have to freeze. Oh, and the other thing is that there was a massive horde that came by right last night. They came right through there and ran right on by, and then disappeared. Uh, there must have been at least 20 zombies in that horde too. I think there's like a, a larger horde size mod that's going on with this. What is it with you guys, Joe? I've seen like four of you today already. Get your nasty hair out of here. Okay, let's grab the two meat. I'll leave the rest on the fire in the hopes that um, the countdown to the freezing thing doesn't happen for, I don't know, I until I open it again, so hopefully that helps. Okay, and uh, we're rolling up on the quest location over here. Tommy boy, let's get rid of you. And then, I think it's this house here, and this is actually... No, it's this house way over here. It's the greenhouse house. Alright, hit that quest, and um, we gotta clear out this area. There's a whole bunch of zombies lurking around, and this is like one of those POIs where <laughs> they would just jump right in. Oh, look in the distance there at the caves in the mountain. Yeah, that's how we have to do mining, because we can't, of course, see the mining nodes. So you have to actually go into the caves and see if you can find some deposits that are in there. I'd really like to get that book where it's like you hit him in the leg and it slows him down. That'd be nice. Well, same approach as always. We just have to go in through the glass here, I think. Which is actually not too bad. Let's just make sure that we can maybe get out of here. And I'll wrench those up. And maybe let's also get like... Like an alternate route <laughs> out of here, maybe? Probably can just, you know break through like that and we're good. Okay, it did wake someone up downstairs though. So let's try not to do that anymore. We can use stealth to kill the rest of them, like that one. They blend right in, they're super camouflaged. Whoops! Have I never actually done that before? Because now my bow is stuck out. Let's try this. I don't think I've ever broken a bow before. That was really weird. Alright, whatever. I'm a brawler, I'm not an archer. Who else is down here? I see you. Oh, the satchel is actually... I I must have totally missed it. It's still up up where we were a second ago. Oh, I see. Okay, it's... um. Is it down here somewhere, then? Right, it is. Perfect. Um, who's below me? Get out of here. <laughs> Back in the hole. 
Okay, brawling is starting to feel kind of good with the fortitude points. I'm just kind of, I'm doing every POI essentially backwards. I see no sense to rush things. I mean, every POI is going to be way more challenging than normal. We might as well take our time and get the resources out of them. You know what I'm kind of thinking now, though, is that those wandering hordes being like 20 or so zombies um, in, a, in a place like this where they could just dump in and I'd have nowhere to go. Yep, that would be a killer. I still don't even have a bedroll. Good morning, Arlene. Fortunately, I'm noticing that I'm not cold in here anymore, which is nice. Um. Zombie. Zombie. Uh. Oh, jeez. Is it just you? I don't... Oh, jeez, a whole bunch of them. No, no, no. Is it just you two? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm less panicked here now. Ow, ow. Get back. Oh, none of that ducking stuff. Jeez, man. Okay, um, what's the plan? Okay, if, if zombies come, I'm gonna do this, and up, and up, and up, and I'm out. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, well, we're technically done here. I think, actually, the, you know, the POI is legitimately cleared, so I guess we can get out of here. Head back and get our quest reward. I'd like to get a bicycle here at some point. You Jennifer! Oh my god, a music carousel? What is this crap? Who puts all this crap in these mods? Anyway, okay, we'll get a new job then. How about just a, um, hmm... Well, if we do a clear zombies, we're gonna get a better reward. Buried supplies, yeah, no thanks on that one. Zombie above me. I will take the clear zombies. That's close by at the gas station. Sure. And I did bring some money with me, and I just wanted to check and see if she had anything cool like uh, Molotovs or mm, some seeds, hop seeds. Hmm, that would be nice because we do need to probably grow some beer. So, sure, I'll take those. Uh, which, actually, today, we, today, we need to get that, um, that made. Also, I don't even think we need, we even know how to brew beer, so that would be another bottleneck. Yeah, otherwise, I do think we're just about all set here. I think I will buy these pipe bombs just to help out on, like, Horde Night, maybe. Thanks for the business. So, yeah, we're, we're good. Open. You know what we need to find is, um, is a freaking helmet light. I would just console myself in one if it wasn't for the, uh... The relentless cheating accusations. It's like friggin' every video now. Like the bar brawling book that I got in the last episode. Like, okay, I, here's what I'm gonna do to prove that person wrong. I'm gonna pull up the comment right here. And now I'm gonna pull up the unedited footage of me actually looting the bar brawling book for plus 10% brawling. Oh, there we go. Bar brawling, nice. 10% more damage with fists. That's great. And since you also accused me of being a bad editor, let me show you the exact clip slowed down to 25%, where you can see the timer wheel expire and then the box open, which indicates that it wasn't previously opened and I didn't stack the loot inside. This is something that I do every time I open a container, just so that people like you will not accuse me of cheating. I just thought I'd pull in some actual footage of me roasting people that accused me of cheating in this game. That's what you get. You also get banned from the comment section forever. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? This is probably you right now. Can we just get on with the video already? Okay, what gas station is this anyway? I can't even tell, although it looks like the kind of type that would like have, um, oh, that's a staircase. They would have maybe a, uh, <laughs> a ladder hatch thing in the top. What is this place? I can't even tell. I was thinking about that though. It's gonna be really hard to get cars because like I don't even know if there are cars probably we we should just wrench them whenever we see them inside like garages and things like that just to kind of like stock up on the parts and I'm gonna have to just dig for a little bit here to see if I can find a way down oh I know where I am now yep and um, I don't think that there's a hatch on the, this roof here but I can just you know make one I guess <laughs> yeah sure just make one way in so that I'm pinned in here when the zombies come by. Oh yes, just wood. Okay, here we are. Should I just jump down there? I mean, yeah, let's go, um, let's go very fast. Very fast and loud. No one's coming. Close that. Oh, here you go. Oh, this guy's armored, so. Oh, here we go. We got an outdoor fighting arena. Oh, no crawling. Not allowed. Why are you crawling? Oh, out of stamina. No, uh, that's not really what I was looking for there. And, uh, one more somewhere. Why is everything- why- why am I getting pink outlines on everything? Ha, huh, I don't know that. Although I do know that, um, like, underneath us right now are those caves. All the way down to bedrock. It's just nothing but caves. So, I don't think anything truly has, like, really good structural stability. Maybe that's why it's doing it. 
or maybe like the the mod has changed how structural stability works so that everything just doesn't collapse due to not having a bedrock connection i don't know how that all works i do hear a zombie somewhere are you around back oh no i see on the compass a zombie over that way and the, if anything this mod really puts to test uh, puts to the test your ability to remember where zombies are. Yes, this is the the one with the underground zombies over here. This is where the main loot is too. And I would imagine, whoops, I, can I get through this? Ah, take a while. I could just jump down there. That would be dangerous though. I think I can manage. Oh boy, but there's like, there's legit no way out. Grr. Okay, quickly then. Priority number one is finding a way out of here. Okay, nice ladder. All the way to the surface. Yep, okay, we're safe. Any wandering hordes up here? No, nope. the coast is clear. Or the tundra. I did wake somebody up in there. No, 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 go, well, first of all, you can die. Now you, Bo, hopefully no one else down here. Nope, we're good. Yeah, I guess we can get the main loot. We haven't cleared the area though. There's still a zombie somewhere. I have no idea where. Something good here, needle and thread or dusters. Well, if I could make one, I would. Pair of booties, nice. Sledgehammer schematic. I'll sell that actually. Machete parts, good for selling. A new wrench. Okay, that'll do it for this place. Just gonna find out where this zombie is. The zombie is running around right below me somewhere. I'm gonna have to dig down to her. I think it's a it's a zombie Karen. Oh yeah, I can see there's a little tunnel here. Oh, she was just like a <laughs> a spawn on the border of the fence or something. Get out of here. There we go. Is that the quest? Yes. Thank goodness. This is pretty. This is a pretty quirky mod. I, I, I it, you know, it's not my favorite, of course. I think Rebirth is my favorite mod right now. Uh, but it's a cool challenge run. I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna be here. I said in the last episode we'll be here until Alpha 21, like come hell or high water. But you know, no. I, I I'll be here like probably day 21, and if if it goes beyond that, and we're still waiting. I'll find something else to do, probably, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to give this one a shot, you know? It's fun to do something different once in a while. Amazing! Here we go. Like Wait, what's, which one's this? Uh, better chance of knocking down the target. I'm gonna go with the Molotovs. If it was the one where I could hit him in the leg and slow him down, I might consider that one. Because, like, a Feral, if you can get a good leg shot on him, that can be really helpful. And I guess after this, we're gonna be doing some fetch quests. Oh, House Old Victorian. Oh, look at this. I just searched this backpack and got a nice pair of ski goggles for agility plus one. Oh, and uh, look at that. They actually don't freeze if you just leave them in the fire unattended. That's good to know. In, in which case, I will. Oh, man, everything's going to freeze. No, 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 no. This is, this is, um, this is difficult. Whoops, and I forgot to sell off a little bit there. That's okay. I probably should just start, like, stockpiling my stuff and selling all at once, you know? Get a sugar butts or something. Look at me. <laughs> look at how cool I look right now. Oh, great. Well, I did get some iron arrowheads so I can make a couple of better arrows. And by a couple, I mean, yeah, you know, not very many. I think, what is it? In vanilla, you need one feather. I think it is per arrow, but in this mod, you need four. Like, I'm pretty sure you could split this arrow in half and get two of the things, the, the feathers for the end of the arrow, whatever those are called. I'm sure there's a specific name for them. Fletching. So that's going to get me 21. Well, I'm down to two, so gotta do what you gotta do. All right, we're well, doing pretty good on the food here. Maybe what I should do is, um, uh, I need to like load the campfire up while we're away, maybe? Yeah, let's do that so that when we come back tonight, we'll have uh, plenty of stuff to kind of get started on for cooking. Maybe, oh geez. Yeah, we need to actually spend some time here today and, and get a situation where we're like, you know, inside. That way I can stay dry and perhaps warmer. But uh, of course there's the whole safety issue here. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of questing right now, let's kind of work on the home here a little bit and um, see if we can decide on some sort of a horde base setup. And also maybe see if we can get some farm plots done. And if not, we'll have to go into the caves. There's cave access from the basement. How can I, uh, can I do that at all right now? No, I need rotten flesh. Oh boy. Farm plots requiring 10 a piece. Oh boy. So I can make, I can get like one. That is what it is. We need like a bear den. We can get a couple of zombie bears. Well, anyway, I'm, I am decided that we need to uh, shore this up a little bit here. Oh, look at this. I just heard some zombies and I came up here to check on things and Yes, it appears that there's a whole horde over there. Is this it, though? Because that looks very small compared to the one that I saw last night. How many? 
How many are here? Did some of you, like, fall into the ground? Because there are some sinkholes around here. All right, we'll gather them all up. We could probably just douse them with a Molotov because there's a whole bunch of bikers. I'm not sure that I really want to go hand-to-hand -hand combat with, like, four bikers right now. Okay, it's working, it's working, and here we go. Good job, everybody. That should at least soften them up and I can get a quick couple of bleeds on the bikers. That'll help. Bleed you all out. Oh, jeez. Bo. Whoa, he's a fast mover now. <laughs> that was a dramatic death. Okay, stamina's an issue. I don't want these guys chasing me down when I'm out of stamina. Oh, they're at like zero hit points though. We're good here. Nice, man. Brawling is fun. Okay, so need to decide on uh, some sort of a system here. Oh, I like the new art here. Not that one. This one's cool. Yeah, I need to decide on some kind of a system here to like put our base in here somewhere and um, also, you know, we're gonna fight the zombies here, of course, as is my style. Hmm. But what kind of a system would be good for punching? Something where we're up close, of course. I wonder what the reach is on punching because what we could maybe try, I don't know if this would work at all, but like a system like this where we bring the zombies up and bring them over this way and all the while, while they're tracking this way, I just kind of like punch them until they fall off the edge and then we can put like little stop gaps here. I think I've seen Genosis do a base like this before. It's worth a try, I think. It's just gonna require quite a lot of demo work because I'm gonna have to take out like two blocks basically. <sighs> even, even all, I'd have to take out basically this whole floor. <laughs> Maybe we just start on this side where it's already been destroyed. I think I'm gonna roll with it. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's just a little bit of demo work. It's gonna take a while. Maybe I have a skill point actually, don't I? I have two. We could... We're gonna have to pump some more points into strength to get sexy T-Rex up. Let's take one into minor 69er and then one into strength so that we can go a little bit further eventually. Maybe get another point to minor 69er here. I'm halfway to leveling up again. Maybe some of this demo work will do the trick. Hey, let's get to work here. That does it, I think. Hmm, yeah. Maybe maybe we don't uh, go into the bathroom because there's the wall there and that's just gonna like mess everything up. Okay, let's just get the frames back down here. Cover that back up. I think we're good here. So what we're gonna have is basically a system where I was thinking about it while I was doing that. I think probably a half block would be a good block for this. Like so. And just drag this across. Also, gonna have to knock out this whole rung right here. I'll do that in just a second. Then we're gonna pull them right up here. We'll have a classic fighting position here so that when they walk up, I could just kind of punch them off and they'll fall down and recycle. And then we'll also, our first system will just be a system where we stand here and punch them off the edge, kind of this way. And we'll put breaks in there so that they have to like actually stop and cluster up and you know break through blocks and things like that. It'll be pretty fun, I think. Okay, that's, uh, that's gonna do it there. The only thing we have to do now is a little bit of an experiment. We're gonna have to see if um, this is going to disrupt zombie pathing right here. If I put these railings in, will they, I think they will, still path over this block here, because this is what I want. Oh geez, the freaking Blood Moon uh, Nightfall sound. Yeah, it's just the regular Nightfall, but it sounds like the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon is out. They're just trying to scare you, I think. This, yeah, we want them to path straight over here. I'm gonna be standing right there. We're gonna be blocking them off with railings like this. I'm, I'm just gonna do it, because tonight I'm gonna go find some zombies. And we're gonna pull them through here to make sure this is all working good, because I'm gonna have my own railing here, and then I'll, I'll build this out so I don't fall off the backside. So like that, and then I'll just be punching them off the edge, something like this anyway. I don't think, I mean, technically a zombie could jump this gap here, but I don't know that they will, honestly. We'll have to find out. What I wanna see is a zombie come straight up here, cut this corner, and start beating on this, and I'll be standing there punching them off, and then once they're through, you know, there's gonna be another set behind this, and they'll have to punch their way through that, and then another one here, and another one here, and then there, finally there will be like one big long fighting position here where I can fight them, and then we'll maybe do just multiple fallback positions essentially, and then all of my stuff will be over here. We've even got some nice built-in lights. I like this. Now all I need is a test subject. Do I have any volunteers out here? 
It's actually really quiet out here tonight. We didn't get any nighttime spawns. I can't say that I'm complaining. I do need to do some cooking right now. Um, yep, so that's my thawed meat right there. We just gotta get some boiled water now. That's gonna be a few minutes. In the meantime, I should probably try to track down some wood. Man, wood is in short supply. We might need to just get farm plots and <laughs> plant trees in them. Not to mention the death trap that happens when you actually carve one out. Yep, because now I got that little pit there to worry about. I got 70 wood out. I'm gonna have to sacrifice four to <laughs> just plug the hole. Oh, see? Oh! Sinkhole! Sinkhole! Ah! Get out of here! Oh no. Oh no. It might never stop. Oh no, I was warned about this. Someone gave me a comment and said that this might happen. Quickly, to the base! If it gets to the base, we're gonna have to take all of our stuff and just run to... I don't know where we're gonna run to. I don't see that it's uh, stopping anytime soon. It's getting fairly large over there. Well, the bright side is, if this goes all the way to bedrock, we might just uh, build a bedrock base. <laughs> And what is going on over here? This is crazy. It's going... It doesn't look like it's going all the way to bedrock. And just uh, try not to fall in. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if this is... Um... Oh, no. The dirt down there. The, the, the stone. Everything is collapsing. Yeah, this has to do with the caves, I think. You can see some of the caves that are down there. Oh, see the caves over there? There's like a little cave campsite, some little underground POI. Well, my friends, it's been fun, but I think we're gonna lose our POI, and I have no idea how far this is gonna go before it stops. <sighs> Jeez, I guess I'll just let it run for a second. I'm gonna fill up my inventory with important items, and that way we can kind of make a run for it if we have to. I think it stopped, actually. Yep, yep, nothing's happening. So, one of the solutions that was proposed to me to uh, prevent this or fix it is to change the horizontal stability of snow over in the game files, which I, I could do. I, I kind of like this. This is, um, this is pretty cool. <laughs> we have a nice little landmark here. Of course, I think probably uh, Horde Knight Zombies are going to get stuck down there, but yeah. Okay, whatever. They can tunnel their way in here. Okay, what were we doing before? We were trying to see if I could uh, pull a zombie in. So if you'd be so kind... Come on over here, yo. That seems to have done it. Now he wants to... Perfect. Okay. Good to know. So come back down here. We gotta we gotta do some testing. I put the bars back in. I'm gonna see what he does now. He has reset. He was in rage mode there for a second. Uh, he's sort of figuring things out. Oh. Let's try it one more time. Hopefully he... Yeah, he's back in rage mode. Damn it, you. But yeah, the pathing is working. He comes right up, he falls right down. I- oh, jeez, I, I don't want them to fall quite so quickly. But as a proof of concept, I think this is a good success. Thank you for your service. Alright, so for the remaining hours here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of work and see if I can get this kind of, uh, some sort of a design finalized down here. Okay, I didn't get very far, but, uh, this is what I got so far, and uh, I think this will work for me be able, being able to punch through. And, um, yeah, we just need to solidify all this once I get a little bit more wood, and I'll be comfortable after that, basically having all of my gear over here, and then also probably need to, um, I guess, make sure that zombies- Oh my goodness, a bear killed a zombie over there. Yeah, make sure that zombies can't just kind of, like, trundle their way in through there. Finally get my bedroll down. Ah! The bear! He heard me! No, no, that's bad. Ah, crap. That means he lives inside this hole now. There he is. Mm, it's gonna be a tremendous waste of ammo and resources trying to kill him. No, now he's breaking stuff. That actually, that was really effective, I think. Here, can I just bear knuckle brawl the bear? All right, almost there, full stamina, quick bear ride. And we'll have him. There we go. It's working. We got him. I got him almost. There we go. And for some reason, his body is all degraded. That's unfortunate. Miss out on a little bit of meat and stuff. And let's go do that uh, fetch quest over there real quick. See if we can get any sort of a good reward for this. Usually the fetch quest will give you some kind of a tool as a reward. And I'm really looking for like, um, I don't know, a fire axe or something. Are we are we to that stage where I can get a fire axe? Probably not. But uh, here we are. We're at the place. Let's see. What do we have for zombies around here? Couple of zombies. Always a good idea to take them out if possible. 
We can, we can just go ahead and hit the quest, I think. Okay, hopefully I don't fail the quest going this far away. Yeah, we're cutting it kind of close here, but I want to get these eggs. And feathers. Probably feathers even more important. Oh, there we go. That's our point that I was going to do. Um, probably, uh, well, yeah, minor 69er, sexy T-Rex. Let's just go one more strength. Sexy T-Rex probably uh, would be better off for me than minor 69er. Oh, oh, hi there. Yep, okay, this is just uh, how it goes. Just, we drop right in. Make sure there's not a zombie in there. And then if needed, we could just kind of... Okay, this is our new hiding spot. There's our satchel. And uh, mission's complete. I'd like to get the main loot if I could, though, and some food. Oh, nice. Okay, not too bad. Good morning. Friends, did I disturb your hibernation or whatever you were doing here? Okay, nice wide open spaces. Oh, that's, yes, this place. I see where we are now. Oh, there's two soldiers back there. Okay. All right, well, come on over here. Oh, this guy's super spongy. Got the armor on. And that's it. Main loot. Oh, look at that. A hobo stew to close things out. Very cool. Okay, I'm starting to suddenly hear a lot of zombies upstairs. First things first, though, I gotta get this inventory sorted. We're not gonna be able to do much in this condition. Okay, um, what, what where, where was my thing to get out of here? Oh, this is just not good. Whoa, look out. And, yeah, there's a lot of zombies here. Oh, boy. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Run, 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 run. Wow, that was close. Oh my god, it was a wandering horde. I think a few of them just peeled off to come and uh, find me down there. They heard me wrenching stuff. Well, I need a little bit more XP. If you could just um, slowly trickle in toward me. I'm quite encumbered, so don't run. And uh, I'll take the coffee just for a quick stamina bonus. I'm just going to freeze anyway if I don't. Oh my goodness, there's a demo over there. Hmm, yeah, this could be kind of fun, actually. Uh, just a little bit encumbered. What can I get rid of? Pipes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try it. Come on over here, Bo. Everybody get together. That's, um, that's the idea. You're doing great. And just... Okay, there we go. Ow! Whoa! Well, that was fun. Wasn't really expecting him to start running like that, but, um, yeah. I'm satisfied. Yeah, these snow zombies, something's wrong with them. They're, they're AI. They're, um... They got brain freeze or something. Good times. All right, let's go home. Okay, well, I stopped back home and I just dropped off supplies and gathered up all my selling materials. Today is trader day, so we can check Jen's inventory, see if she has like a helmet light or something. I was just chopping some trees along the way and same thing happened again. I've caused a massive sinkhole. We'll see what happens to this one. I'll time lapse it for you. Don't all right, what do we get here? Place. Batter up book or a scope? Sure. That's just the, the metal chain mod one. So I guess I'll be going with the scope. New job. Bring, I whoa, 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 would... that one's far oh, away. No on. thanks. Buried supplies. I, I'm i gonna do one of these I to see what it's like. Who's... All right, quick sell off here. You know, she's selling dynamite. The last time around she was selling the dynamite schematic and then now I'm thinking having some dynamite around with all this snow, might not be too bad of an idea. Otherwise, nothing too terribly tempting today. So I'll just get the uh, 762 here and we'll call it good. Thanks for listening. Okay, while I was down there, an airdrop came in. It's way, way off there. It looks like it's um, probably on top of a mountain across the ravine. And then there's the buried supply way over there. Wow, okay, it's gonna be quite a hike. Let's go get the airdrop first. All right, what's in the box? Oh no. Well, a food bundle, which is just gonna freaking promptly freeze. Maybe we'll have better luck over here at the buried supplies. Man, it is like, it's a really bright, snow blindy type of a day. Well, I guess, yeah, let's clear out the area a little bit here. That didn't take long. Right, let's hit it. So I can just probably peel snow off until the radius reduces, and hopefully this is just buried in the snow, not buried in the clay like next to the um like the stone layer oh yeah i forgot zombies well this is kind of turned into a whole thing here come on together people oh crap i left the radius no i was trying not to do that i came all this way for nothing i was trying to just corral these six or so zombies into one spot so i could light them on fire that'll do friends come right up here 
Yeah, well, I guess technically the, the box is still down there, but I'll probably never find it. Not a good use of my time anyway. Oh, right, Jen, sorry, I What's lost it. So, um, so hopefully there's nothing important in there for you. Let's just stick to... Oh, jeez. Yeah, like clear zombies and stuff, I guess. I Ooh, house burnt. What else do you got? Uh, household I bungalow? Yeah, in... whatever. Oh, I... Well, on the bright side there, I did get a whole bunch of extra eggs. 14 more eggs, which, um, you know, if I leave them to it, they're just gonna breeze so let's why not just turn those into bacon and eggs right away and let's see house uh, the clear house is right over here let's see if we can knock one more job out tonight before nightfall hit it okay this is a clear zombies quest how at the heck am i gonna get in here this looks like a good a spot as any oh yes going straight actually down into the regular house area oh hello there Ooh, how's that by the way, I got a couple skill points here. We were gonna do sexy T-Rex for one, and I'll do minor 69er for the other, and then after that I think we'll go back and focus on fortitude perks. Oh look, the main loot's right here, which means probably there's some zombies in here? Yeah, just one. She can't even get up. Whoa, I hate that. I hope they patch that out someday. Increased block damage. There we go. Spear Hunter book. Just gonna sell that Molotov. Iron arrows. Not too bad. First aid. And a pretty decent pipe rifle. Now for the zombies. Tommy. Good morning. I got sneak damage on him. <laughs> nice. Come on, purse pistol. Wow, look at that. That's nice to have. Here, go ahead and... Um, I don't have any 9 mil right now. I, I've saved some at home. I didn't. I was gonna sell it, but then I was like, you know, I might get a toilet pistol here someday, so I didn't. How about a toilet pistol this time? Nope. No luck. Two acids sitting in there. That's pretty cool. Two coffees sitting in there. Wow, I'm on a roll here. Oh, crap. There's a basement. Why is there always a basement? Two zombies down here. It's only a tier one, so there can only be, like, you know, a handful of zombies here somewhere. Here they are. Ooh, my punching skill is just so much better when I'm well hydrated. Come on, college jacket. Wow, man. I, that's what I gotta do from now on. I just gotta call it out before I open it. And I will get it. This is my lucky house here. Why do they go all Gumby like that? It's very strange. Okay, so college jacket's gonna be a little bit worse on the cold protection, but honestly, you know, 10% run speed. I would take almost any debuff to have that consistently. Okay, area's still not clear. What have I missed? Oh, oh right, there was a room upstairs that I couldn't get to. Open sesame. Last zombie right here, I think. Are you kidding me? Come on down here, Mo. <laughs> well, I asked nicely. Oh, not that again. Oh, zombie is uh, upstairs somewhere, top side. Okay, sounds just like maybe one, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. I would like to get the hell out of here, though, because it's almost nightfall, about an hour away. Hello? You can hear him in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. He fell down somewhere. Now that you have some money to spend? There we go. Okay, pipe bombs. That's what I'm talking about. And a new job for tomorrow. Yep, we'll just take that last clear zombies at the burnt house. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just head home, get all my stuff put away, start organizing. I think I'll probably move all of our stuff downstairs so we're kind of like undercover inside. And then I'll see what I can do for upgrades at like the horde base position. And then we'll pick things up again first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.